Dear Mr. Andre McHenoff, Chair of the TEL Working Group, Advisor to the Minister, Ministry of Telecom and Mass Communication, Russian Federation, Mr. Kirill Operin, Deputy Director, Department of International Collaboration, Ministry of Telecom. Telecom and Mass Communication, Russia Federal, and dear colleagues of Tel Working Group, the APEC region is located in a dynamic and evolving area, in facing of challenges from sustainable economic development and nature hazard, threat and devastation brought by earthquake, landslide. Flood, typhoons, climate change has been one of the major factors affecting economic growth and sustainable development. Taking into account of the Asia region's vulnerability to nature hazard, the new normal, there is a need of encourage collective action in ensuring. Free of flow of trade, investment, and tourism across member economies, in consideration of new normal caused by climate change, increased intensity and frequency of geological disaster or extreme weather events, it might further explore why an investment, including new technology. And innovation is essential to find solution for better protecting our cultural people and land. Therefore, APEC Emergency Preparedness Working Group (EPWG) welcome regional collaborations on reducing business interruption from nature disaster through exploring risk estimation of the possible losses and. Economic impact. In recent years, it is a global trend to work on feasible solution through regional collaboration on sharing of knowledges and experience. The workshop on collaboration program on creating a common interoperable approach to improving the efficiency of existing disaster management system, based on ICT. Is the concrete evidence that APEC emphasizes on cross-cutting synergy to solve transpounding issues such like disaster risk management? This March, during the World Third Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, representatives around the world has reached and endorsed a new worldwide strategy. The Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction, 2015 to 2013 (SFDRR). The SFDRR provides guidance and steps to promote disaster mitigation by strengthening sustainable development and climate change adaptation. About key holder to help implement the Sendai Framework. Contribution by scientific community and the public-private partnership. Are highlighted. Now, science and technology have been broadly applied to disaster risk reduction, hazard map, early warning system, evacuation, social vulnerability assessment, mental intervention, smart structure, and also decision support to decision maker. Furthermore, in November 2015, EPEC has adopted and endorsed. The APEC Disaster Risk Reduction Framework, which encouraged to take action for building sustainable and resilient trade environment, the framework aimed to contribute to adaptive and disaster resilient Asia Pacific economics, and can support inclusive and sustainable development in face of disasters. The core of this. Framework is clear recognition that 
addressing the impact of disaster require holistic, more proactive, multi-stakeholder, multi-sectoral, and strategic investment intervention to make our economy more resilient. Under this framework, the EPIC community can collectively identify and explore areas for enhanced cooperation across cutting synergy among the relevant areas of the APEC agenda, including agricultural, forestry, fisheries, trade and environment, investment, energy, micro, small and media enterprises, infrastructure development, critical infrastructure resilience, financial resilience, human capital, health, gender, food security, science and technology, and ecological integrity. Approaches of ICT for disaster management should be highlighted and recognized as to develop action plan for implement the EPIC DRR framework. According to the agenda, the workshop prepares valuable experience to share and encouraging course cutting idea to discuss. Within one day sections, wide range issue to be covered. There is not just lesson learning, and also more original case study provide a comprehensive picture of how smartly prepare for and respond to emergency. Disaster risk reduction could be implemented through different approaches. At the top decision maker level, DR is closely related to top safety priority, environmental sustainability, and the people's livelihood. Through the future collaboration between the EEPWG and TELWG, our efforts will innovate the landscape of disaster management in the APEC region and effectively facilitate information flow at time of disaster. Base, beside presenting my sincere congratulations to a successful workshop, I cordially expect TLWG will report this workshop conclusion at EPWG meetings in 2016. So thank you, chair and colleagues of TELWG.